you think with all the money that the mayor charged me to rent this stuff that he would have sent me white candles? I think orange candles are going to clash with pink napkins. Oh, no, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Not at all. As a matter of fact, I think it's rather chic. Oh, do you? Oh, yes. Pink with the... Mm -hmm. I hope so. You know, this dinner I'm giving for General Bronson, this could make me career-wise. No, no, Captain, make up to... Holy jumping! Look at this! Hey, what are you doing here? What is this? You're supposed to be out in your putt-putt getting shot at. Hey, boy, a party! Look at all the goodies! Yo, no, it's not time for you, you squirrel! No! General Bronson is coming for dinner tomorrow night, and he's going to have a nice big party That's right here. Right. Oh, look, you stop it! No wonder you got two chins. One can't do all the work. How about that? You're entertaining the commanding general. Boy, boy. that sounds like fun! Hey, where do I sit? You're gonna sit in a brig if you don't get your clammy little hands off of my table. That's where you're gonna sit, you pushy little creep. You're pushy. Pushy. I am not. I am not. All right, all right. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you, Mr. Parker is a little edgy, sir, because we've been out on patrol for a week. Steady, sir. As a matter of fact, uh, my whole crew is all tense. And, well, I was going to ask if you wouldn't give them a few days liberty so that where they can go out and see the country, kind of let them unwind, you know? It's a good idea, Quinn. Oh. Why don't you take your boys out in the country, kind of let them unwind? Oh, good idea, Captain. <laughs> take them on a 20-mile hike. 20-mile hike? Gas a 20-mile hike, Goofy. You need it. It'll toughen you up. Get rid of all those tensions. Now, wait a minute, Captain. You Look at that. The jaw muscles. Tense, tense, tense. Now, get out of that hike before I change my mind. Make it a 50-mile hike. Now, take your radio with you, your field radio, because I want you to report in every hour so you don't goof off. Goof off! Not the... Come on, Chuck. Let's get out of here. Cheap crystal. What do you mean, cheap? That's the best crystal you can rent. Just listen to the tone on this. Cheap. <laughs> now who's tense, Wallace? Fiori, five kilometers. Holy mackerel, that's almost three miles. Come on, boys, take a break. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I can hardly move my own. My aching dog. Oh, even my blisters got blisters. Look what's coming. Skip, on behalf of all of us walking wounded, request permission to hitchhike. Come on, how about it, Skip? Yeah, give us a break. Let bottom will never know. Well, don't just sit there on your bottoms. Get on your tops and start hitchhiking. Well, I hope my mother never oh, finds out about this. I thought I wouldn't ride with strangers. Charlie, wait a minute. Hey, amigo, a lift in the town, huh? Hey, senor, buongiorno. How about a lift? Going our way? Hey, stop it, please. Have a buongiorno, time. buongiorno. Taxi, anyone? Fools! Oh, you think I'm Italiano? Buongiorno, buongiorno. Fuji, are you out of your rice picking mind? Where did you hijack this rig? Why not hijack skippers, huh? Just borrow this to rescue pooped bodies. That's a boy, Fuji. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now listen, you samurai screwball. You take this right back where you found it on the double. Skip, you can't send them back. Why, if the MPs nab them, they might frown on a Japanese PW driving a hot mule car. Yeah, he's right. All right, all right, all right. All right. Well, you're gonna have to finish up the hike with us. All right, you bunch of pedestrians, flop in. Shotgun! How shotgun. Oh, shotgun you get in the back? I called him first. Up, dancer! Up, dancer! This ain't war, it's science fiction. Siamo qui, siamo qui, siamo qui, Volta Fiore. Siamo qui. Hey, get a load of that. Wow, look at that joint. Mamma mia. Some class. 
I like it. Hold it, Pooch, hold it. Whoa! Hey, dig that crazy comfort station. Ah, it's a genuine Italian villa. Let's give it a once over, Skip. No, 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 no. It's all boarded up. You better stay out of there. Hey, don't you guys know you're not supposed to go in strange houses? Look what happened to Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel? Yeah, remember they went in and they had the witch there and the cookie. Uh, oh, you guys really didn't want to know, huh? <laughs> Look, Skip. What do you say? No harm if we go in and just relax a while, huh? Oh, yeah, Skip the son's murder. All right, I don't suppose it'll hurt to take a look. Come on, let's go. Ah. Hey, how about this? Mamma mia! And what a mad pair. Huh? Rich or poor, it's nice to have money. Yeah. All right, now take it easy now. I don't want anything broken, you oh, meatballs. Oh, be careful. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in there. <laughs> easy, lad. Easy, easy. Yeah, I was skipped it. You see, she's, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's I mean... It's all right. It's okay. We're all big boys here. We had all our lectures. <laughs> hey, get a load of this chick. Uh, some class, huh? She must be the owner of this lean-to. Tessa Francesca Diorizzi. No, 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 no. It's Contessa Francesca Derezzi. Derezzi, huh? Yeah, I heard mm. the villagers talking about her. When the war started, she moved to Naples. A real Contessa. Wow. Yeah, just think of all the royalty that's been in this place. Your Majesty! Charmed, I'm sure. Well, likewise, you can tell. What a delightful little man. Banzai, Spizans! Hey! Look what I find! Hey! Hey! hey. Nerve of that mare. Charging me 500 lira for breakage. <laughs> sir, uh, sir, there's a farmer outside waiting to see you. I don't care about that. Get busy and help me set the table here. When that Parker gets back from his hike, I'm going to take all this out of his hide. That's right. Uh, sir, sir, this farmer is very upset. It seems that somebody stole his mule cart, sir, and he wondered if you would My try... banquet table is a wreck. Can you expect me to get worked up over a hijacked jackass? Sometimes I get you... Get out of here, you flea-bitten donkey driver. Oh. <laughs> Colonel Harrigan. <laughs> well, do you always leave the troubled villagers cooling their heels outside, Captain? I must say, it doesn't speak too well for the military governor. Uh, oh, somebody waiting to see me outside? Well, I didn't know anybody. Why didn't you tell me there was somebody outside? Well, I did, sir. I told you there was a farmer outside. Oh, oh, I guess I forgot to tell him. There. Mm -hmm. Well... Planning a, a little bacchanal, Binghamton? A bacchanal? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just uh, having a little briefing session here, a little uh, uh, staff meeting, and I'm serving some refreshments, you see. <laughs> Binghamton, you've been on a looting binge again. When will you ever learn that this is a war and not a scavenger hunt? How dare you accuse me of looting? What, the captain rented all of this from a caterer, sir. A caterer in the middle of a war zone? <laughs> well... What have we here? Uh, huh? Well, well pink champagne. That, I found it in the cellar. The Germans left that in the cellar, and I found it in... It, it, you can't have it in the end. Pink animal. champagne. Vintage 1939. <laughs> oh, I was afraid of that. Uh, afraid of what? 39 was a very bad year for champagne. And that's not pink. That's uh, rusty. And give me that back. And... Captain, don't you realize this bubbly's been poisoned? Poison? But what is the difference? As long as it tastes good, you get a little high and you... <laughs> but I don't care. Poison? Poison. Don't you realize the Jerry's planted cases of this stuff before they pulled out? Oh, boy, you're lucky I happened along just at this time. Stand back. I've got to get this stuff over to intelligence. Oh, what a treacherous trick. I had that all over with the... What if I'd serve this to the general? <sighs> Captain Binghamton here. Oh, General Brunson. We were just talking about you, General. I, I suppose you called to RSVP my dinner invitation. I'm afraid I have a previous engagement, Captain. I won't be able to come. You won't be able to make it? Well, General, it, it, it's going to be loads of fun. I've got all this nice china, and I'm going to have wonderful food, and I've hired an orchestra. I've got three pieces, all accordions. Well, I'm sorry, Captain, but I'm going to Colonel Harrigan's dinner party tomorrow night. Colonel Harrigan is having a dinner the same night as... Right. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Harrigan always managed to have a bottle of my favorite pink champagne on hand. <laughs> pink champagne? Harrigan! Oh, but you can breathe easy. He took that poison champagne with him. Poison in my eye. Oh, uh, excuse me, General. I, uh, uh, something flew in my eye. I'll have to hang up now. Goodbye. <laughs> Harrigan! Harrigan, you'll come back here with my champagne, you thief! <laughs> 
You turncoat. You let that rat fink get out of here with my champagne. You've gone over to our enemy, the army. So believe me, I would... All right, talk. I... How much did he pay you to get that champagne? No. How much? Lieutenant Commander McHale calling Captain Binghamton. McHale to Captain Binghamton. You butt out of this, McHale. I'm talking to him. All right, tell me, how much? I... McHale to Captain Binghamton, are you there, sir? Mikhail, where are you? Quit playing hide and seek. And why aren't you hiding? There? Sir, sir, he, he's Mikhail, on the radio there, where? sir. On the radio, reporting in his orders, sir. Well, I did. All right, Mikhail, make it snappy. Sir, we're about six miles north of Volta Fiori. It's hot and dusty. Oh, we're in awful bad shape. You've only gone six miles. Well, stop dogging it and get moving. I don't think we can make it, sir. Oh, my God, the men are passing out from the heat. Well, we were, and we've run out of water. Water, water, cold, fresh water. Oh! oh, Tinker, Tinker, don't let him stay there, boys. Get his face out of the dirt. I think I have the straight, Skip. Hey, what are them birds flying around up there? Hey, they're vultures, Skip. Let's get out of here. Okay, <laughs> Water, water. Oh, have a heart, Captain. Uh, the men are passing out like flies. Why, please call off this death mark. Negative, Mikhail. You're just a bunch of panty waste. You need toughening up. Now keep on hiking. Hot oh. tail, hot tail. Oh. So long, fellas. Oh. Sir, Radium and Boss just passed out. Watch it. That bunch is coming in at him. Oh. Oh. Birch, Birch, get a rock. Hit him. Got him, Skip. Get up, boy, Birch. Good oh, they killed the vulture. Oh, shut up. What side are you on? Yeah, but a vulture. <laughs> now, hear this, Mikhail. I'm not buying a phony soap opera for one minute. Now, just knock it off and get moving. You're going to finish that hike if it takes all night. You understand that? Now, over and out. He didn't buy it. You got to finish the hike. And I thought that was one of our better performances. Yeah, I think I did it one of my wings. Now, well, let's go, you guys. Now, wait a minute. Hold it. I'll be doggone if I'm going to let Lead Bottom uh, push us around while he's throwing parties. No, sir. We're not going to go on that hike. We're going to stay right here. Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Look and skip. We got Binghamton's okay to stay out all night. What do you say we make use of this joint and throw us a little wing thing? Hell yeah. We had a party since we came here. Sure, here. skip. No passes, no leaves. Just straight duty. Missions every day. You want to know something? For once, you guys are right. We're entitled to live it up. Hey! hey, hey, hey. Get the girl, Skip! I'll get the veto! I don't I'm just say it. I gotta be kissing sweet! <laughs> <laughs> Must be some way I can get even. Some way. <laughs> Maybe the Luftwaffe will bomb Harrigan's quarters before tomorrow night, then the general will have to come to my party. <laughs> Come on, you crouch, get on the ball. <laughs> it's about time you got here, for heaven's sake. Wait a minute, this isn't pink champagne. Well, sir, it's the best I could do. There just isn't any pink champagne anywhere. Well, this is... And vintage 1944 with your dim wit, that's this year. It is early 44, sir. <laughs> oh, what's a difference? I'm a social failure anyway. I'm just an outcast. Oh, sir, it's just too bad that you don't know the Contessa Doretzi. My driver told me that she's just returned from Naples. He saw the lights on in her villa. Well, if you could just get her to come to your party. Oh, you stop at the idle prattle, for heaven's sakes. I'm standing here on the brink of social oblivion, and you're prattle, prattle, prattle. I... <laughs> Contessa? Doretzi. Well, that's good. That's good, Elroy. I mean, it would do it. Uh... With bait like that, the general could hardly get off the hook, could he? Oh, sir, if you could pull it off, why, why, it'd be the social coup of the entire war. <laughs> oh, I'll pull it off, boy, huh? With my dash and my charm, how oh. could I not pull it off? Charm? This lady couldn't say nay to me. <laughs> never, sir, <laughs> never. Uh, you look ravishing tonight, my dear. Yeah, <laughs> Just a minute, I think I better shut the door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not you, you boob. Why would I dance with you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What are you staring at? You're not going to find your missing jackass in here. <laughs> oh, sir, that is really something. That's how I'm going to step. Look at it. Ready for another Shari temple? Oh, no thanks, Mooch. 
Who's my limit? No, che fai qui tutto solo, poverino? Vieni a ballare con me. Oh, no, vieni. no, I don't know, Brass. No, thanks. No, really, I, uh, yeah, you do. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, Skip, how do you turn her off? Oh, go on. Don't be a party pooper. Dance with Bianca. Live a little baby. Volare. Well, wait a minute. If we're going to do it, let's do it right. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, uh, three. One, two, three. Uh, you're not counting. See, you got to... Uh, look, why don't we just play Chinese checkers? Cosa dici? Chinese checkers? Amo te faccio con me. Mm, well, 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 I don't speak Italian. <laughs> Just, oh, boy. Oh, Marina. Presto, presto. Caro, dove sei? Caro. Caro. Caro, dove sei? Caro, dove sei? <laughs> Skip, we need one now. Well, now, look, the captain came to see the Contessa, right? What if we come up with one? Skip, you must be kidding. Where we ever dig up a Contessa? Seek and ye shall find. <laughs> your Highness, uh, you'd better go up and uh, get dressed. You don't want to keep your date waiting, do you? Wait a minute, Skip. Move! You better be good. Well, I'm coming, Captain! Come on, come on, get in the rain. Get the other room, you guys. Make like a big party. Come on, come on. hurry up, let's go. Come on. Fuji, where you going? Red bottoms outside. Oh, you think? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Michael, if you don't open that door, I'm going to get a tank and break it down. <laughs> Why, Captain, what a pleasant surprise. It went lovely flowers. <laughs> oh, I've really got you nailed this time, Michael. Breaking and entering and drinking and carousing. No, no, and... no, no. Stop the orgy. You're under arrest. No, 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 no. no. Captain, Cap, uh, you've got to understand it. The Contessa saw us hiking by, and well, she invited us in for uh, fun and games. And now, you wouldn't want us to be rude, now, would you? Well, no, I wouldn't want you to be rude. Oh, the Contessa wouldn't invite a bunch of thugs like you in a flight. You probably got her locked in the cellar. Oh, <laughs> no, sir. No, no, she's upstairs powdering her nose. <laughs> oh, Contessa! Contessa! <laughs> Somebody calling me? That's her. Ow. Ow. Oh, this is indeed a great honor. Your... Ha, excuse me. Excuse me. What do you call her? Well, oh, your, 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 your Highness. Highness. This is a great honor, Your Highness. Uh, who is it? It's a peasant. Oh, well, this peasant is uh, not a peasant. I'm, I'm a captain. Uh, it's captain. Your obedient servant. Uh, uh, please, uh, don't. You steam up with the diamonds. Uh, yeah, sorry. Give me my big nose. <laughs> I brought you these as a welcome oh. home present, Your Highness. Oh. Oh. Take it away. You wanted me to sneeze it today. Maybe it'd be better if you went in and laid down. Yes, I think so. I'm thinking of allergic to him. Oh, no, please. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It must be the roses. Oh, the Excuse me, Your Majesty. I'll get rid of them. Colonel, <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, how are you? Thanks, Michael. Touché, Binghamton. 
Well, now that you bedeck me with flowers, would you stand aside so I can pay my respects to the Countess? I'm terribly sorry, sorry, girl. You're too late. The Countess has gone to bed. Good night. Oh. Ah! 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 Countess! Uh, I hope you will forgive my intruding. I am Colonel Harrigan. And I'm in charge of the military government in this area, and Captain Binghamton's superior. What do you mean, you're so my superior? Not my, you don't outrank me. I've got eagles, too, you know. I just got them on my other suit. <laughs> nice to meet you, Colonel, but now, excuse me, because I go to bed. Yes, you go to bed. It's way past your bedtime. We've got to go to gentlemen. Please, Smackhead. <laughs> Countessa, I brought you this rare pink champagne as a gift. I thought we might toast your return. If that is my pink champagne, you swiped after me. You give that back. <laughs> Gotta get one of those sticks and beats. <laughs> well, Captain, don't be gauche. And Wally, now... why don't you just scoot along? Please, the boys are not no fight. Now look, excuse me, I go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Momento, Countess. Uh, may I speak with you? Uh, look, would you do me the honor of attending a dinner party that I'm giving? No, no, Countess, I want you to my dinner party. I'm gonna have a lot more fun. I'm having three at party. Well, everybody <laughs> who is anybody is going to be at my dinner party. Oh, hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, mind your manners now. Remember the Countess. Yeah, now look, boys, no fight. I have please, please say you'll be there. <laughs> And look, boys, oh, please, no fight. Madam, you lost your uh, <laughs> a thousand dollars. Ha, 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 ha. He's a man! Well, bye. He doesn't have to fight, you fat little slob. You, I kiss his hand. Oh, oh, oh. Me too. How dare you make a fool of me, Anton? Oh, well, now, wait a minute. I can settle this argument. Why don't I go to both your parties? I don't want to settle my party. Well, now, now, Captain and Colonel, I can explain everything. Ah, it looks like we have more candidates for the court martial. <laughs> All right, soldier, get your dough. Ten, hut! No problem, sir. Harrigan didn't expect to find you here. <laughs> well, it's fortunate that I did come. I uncovered quite a plot here, General. And Captain, uh, 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 oh, Commander McHale, of course. Well, yes, he's everybody, yes, he is. Ah, Contessa. Uh, General, let me report. Let me report. Oh, I'm General Bronson. I was right over when I heard of your arrival. Any little thing you want, you just say the word. Oh, like <laughs> gracias. <laughs> Many Malta. <laughs> oh, but that one, General, you're down on his death. Please, gentlemen, I'm trying to talk to the Contessa. <laughs> what, sir? You get this. At ease, gentlemen. <laughs> I hope I didn't interrupt your little party, Your Highness. Forgive me. <laughs> well, gentlemen, carry on. Start the music. Let's dance. You heard the gentleman. Come on, fellas. Oh, no, no, no. We don't music. want any music. Of course there should be music. This is a party, isn't it? Yes. 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 I hope you will do me the honor, Your Highness, of dancing with me. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't step on your toes. I'm a little nervous. This is the first time I've ever danced with a Contessa. Uh -huh. Well, let him make it two of us. <laughs> I never danced with a general before. Oh. <laughs> a disgrace. Parker ought to be behind bars. It's outrageous. We've got to stop this. Oh, sure. By all means, you stop. <laughs> now, which one of you is going to tell the general that uh, he's dancing with an ensign? such an agile old man. Uh, don't try to run me down. I'm going to string you up by your dog. Now, no, 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 no. Captain, I, you just weren't looking where you were going. What do you mean I wasn't looking where I was? What's with all this luggage? And what are these men doing in their dress whites? Why, why, why? We're going on leave, sir. Leave? I don't remember okaying any leave. No, but uh, General Bronson does. You see, here's our passes with his signature. We'll be spending seven carefree days in carefree Naples. <laughs> How did you swing a thing like that? Oh, I talked him into it while we were dancing. Couldn't resist my big baby brown eyes. <laughs> baby brown, get out of here. Out, out, out. Hey, Want to kiss my hand goodbye? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 